Um, so I'm kind of new at this. Um, <laughs> so I just want to get straight to the point. Um, my dad was the best influence on a 12 year old boy in the entire world. And the one thing that he always told me every single day was the most important thing in the world was other people. You guys know the Emoji movie, right? That came out. <laughs> one of the quotes that the main character said was, what's the point of being number one if there aren't any other numbers? That is what my dad was trying to tell you, me in, in a nutshell. And he knew that I had the caliber of man to go out and be the best version of myself. <laughs> He taught me how to have patience, he taught me how to treat a woman, and he taught me how to give 100% focus when anyone was trying to share anything with me. And after a while, those traits started to become habits, and my parents started to get overwhelmed with compliments. And, <laughs> and then at first, you know, I thought, at first, I thought, wait, doesn't everyone do this? My dad told me and grew into me that being above and beyond was just the norm. If I had a different dad, I don't know if I would have the courage to come up here and speak right now. And, you know, if I had a different dad, there might not even be half as many people in this room today. Um... Now, I don't mean in this a bad way, but I personally haven't even met half of you people in here. <laughs> that is how many people my dad has touched and influenced through his life. And, you know, as of 20, I mean, as of, you know, 11, 10, I wanted so many things. You know, I wanted a phone, a console, you know, I was even into paintball and airsoft, that's what happens. And, <laughs> but, when I saw him drop to the floor, and you know, me and Addison were there when it happened, all I wanted was for that one heart to start beating again. That's all I wanted. And you know, we gave him the best chance to come back, but he never did. But all I know is that he got done what he needed to do in 42 years of his life. <sighs> you know, and I've been thinking about this lately, but. If I could have one more conversation with him, I would talk myself out of my skin. I would talk, I would tell him everything I've always wanted to tell him. And he would just sit there, look at me straight in the eyes, and not even move, and then rephrase everything I just said into a better form. <laughs> <laughs> he knew without even trying how to make me better. And that's how I want you guys to remember him. Thank you.